Okay. Well, I'm Dr. Dave Bierman. I've been practicing medicine since 1968 when I graduated from the University of Washington. I've worked at just about every level of government, uh, the federal government. I was in charge of health services at San Diego State University. I was the director of a county health department. I was the medical director for 14 years of the oldest Medicaid managed care program in the country. And I've been involved in drug abuse treatment and prevention in one way, shape, or form uh, for over 40 years. Uh, I've been doing medical marijuana recommendations as part of a pain management practice since 2000. And during that time, I have really learned an awful lot. Uh, not that I didn't know quite a bit about the medicinal use of cannabis beforehand, but it turns out it pales by what I've learned since then. Uh, I taught courses at UCSB and UCSF and San Diego State on recreational drugs and the pharmacology of those drugs and the effects on, on people. I also taught a course at UCSB on the origins of American drug policy, which has practically nothing to do with the drugs and has an awful lot to do with demonization, discrimination, and commerce. And we can talk about that later if you want. I retired as the deputy director of the oldest Medicaid managed care program in the country and was looking around for um, some other thing to do professionally. I was approached by Jack Herrera, who wrote the book The Emperor Wears No Clothes, regarding doing some medical marijuana assessments. And after talking to uh, Jack and after talking to a physician who was leaving the country and wanted to have somebody take over his practice, I felt that uh, it was worth a try to, to see whether I liked it uh, and to uh, see whether it was something that uh, I really felt comfortable doing. And I must say that this has been really the most rewarding part of my uh, medical career. Uh, particularly early on, people would come in still kind of sh shell-shocked from the 90 years of disinformation and outright propaganda that we've had uh, in regards to marijuana. Uh, it's really amazing to me that uh, great efforts have been made not to use the appropriate word cannabis and I still get upset when I see newspapers use the word pot. I have no idea uh, why they do that other than uh, to marginalize the fact that this is actually a medication and has uh, a, lot of, a lot of beneficial effects. So over the last 11 years I've treated over 1,500 patients. Uh, not everybody that calls up gets an appointment. Not everybody that gets an appointment gets a recommendation for the medicinal use of marijuana. Not everybody that makes an appointment is interested in the medicinal use of uh, cannabis. Uh, but many people are, and uh, it has benefited a, a whole range of medical conditions that have been truly amazing. And I've learned an awful lot about how the nervous system works. Uh, the endocannabinoid system, that is our own system uh, of receptors and neurotransmitters related to marijuana, is the largest neurotransmitter system in the brain. And yet, it was only characterized in 1992, and we really don't know that much about how it operates. But we do know that it influences a lot uh, of our human activity and that it appears to be important in modulating uh, the way the, the nervous system works. So.